I'm committed to to maintaining the constitutional balance of power and the authority that this branch, this legislative branch has. And I just don't think it's appropriate that Mr. Holder be here if an American citizen had not complied with one of the Justice Department subpoenas. They would be in jail, not sitting here in front of you testifying. But I realize there are questions to be asked, and I'll yield the remainder of my time to Mr. Gowdy. Well, I think what we promised to do is to provide you and your staff with... Sir, I've read you what your department promised, and it is inadequate. And I realize that contempt is not a big deal to our Attorney General, but it is important that we have proper oversight. You don't want to go there, okay? I don't want to go there? No. About the contempt? You should not assume that that is not a big deal to me. I think that it was inappropriate. I think it was unjust. But never think that that was not a big deal to me. Don't ever think that. Well, I'm just looking for evidence, and normally we're known by our fruits, and there have been no indications that it was a big deal because your department has still not been forthcoming in producing the documents that were the subject of the contempt. Let me move on. There have been other questions asked about the... The documents that we were prepared to make available then, we were prepared to make available now, that would have obviated the whole need. This was all about gun lobby and a desire to have... So we've been trying to get to the bottom of Fast and Furious where people died, where at least a couple hundred Mexicans died, and we can't get the information to get to the bottom of that. So I don't need lectures from you about contempt. And I don't need lectures from you either. Because it is very difficult to deal with asking questions. As a former judge, I never have asked questions of someone who's been held in contempt. 